Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we have one very very interesting question from rational equations which will be solving for the real values of x. So let's get it started. I will check our equation at x equal to negative 1 and at x equal to 0. Let's put x equal to negative 1. So we will get minus 2 plus 2 whole power 5 in the numerator over minus 1 plus 3 is 2 so 2 power 5 plus minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 whole power 5 which will give us 0 over 2 power 5 is 32 minus 2 power 5 is minus 32 so we are getting 0 over 0 form which is indeterminate form so x cannot be equal to negative 1 for our given equation. So I will write x can't be minus 1. Now we will plug in x equal to 0 to our equation. We will get 2 power 5 in the numerator and 3 power 5 plus 1 power 5 in the denominator which will be equal to 32 over 3 power 5 is 243 plus 1, 244 which is not equal to 1 over 2. So for our equation x equal to 0 cannot be one solution. So I will write here x can't be 0 also. Now I will take 2 common from this bracket in the numerator. So we can write 2 power 5 times in the bracket x plus 1 whole power 5 over x plus 3 whole power 5 plus 3x plus 1 whole power 5 equal to half. Now we have to eliminate 2 power 5 in the LHS. So I will divide both sides by 2 power 5. Here also 2 power 5 is 32. Now this 2 power 5, 2 power 5 we will cancel in LHS. So we will get our equation as x plus 1 whole power 5 over x plus 3 whole power 5 plus 3x plus 1 whole power 5 equal to 1 over 2 times 32. So 1 over 64. Now we will divide numerator and denominator by x power 5 as we know x equal to 0 cannot satisfy our equation. x cannot be 0. So we will get our equation as x plus 1 over x whole power 5 as numerator. Denominator will be writing x plus 3 over x whole power 5 plus 3x plus 1 over x whole power 5. This will be equal to 1 over 64. Let's divide. x over x is 1 plus 1 over x whole power 5 over x over x is 1 plus 3 over x whole power 5 plus 3x over x is 3 plus 1 over x whole power 5 equal to 1 over 64. Now we will consider our substitution. Let us say 1 over x equal to m. So our equation will become m plus 1 whole power 5 over 3m plus 1 whole power 5 plus m plus 3 whole power 5 equal to 1 over 64. Let me write here. Now we will flip numerator and denominator. So let's take reciprocal both sides. 
सो आई विल राइट थ्री एम प्लस वन होल पार फाइव प्लस एम प्लस थ्री होल पार फाइव ओवर एम प्लस वन होल पार फाइव इक्वल टू सिक्सटी फोर एज वी नो एम कैन नॉट बी इक्वल टू नेगेटिव वन आवर सब्सटीट्यूशन वॉज वन ओवर एक्स इक्वल टू एम वंस एक्स कैन नॉट बी नेगेटिव वन एम कैन नॉट बी नेगेटिव वन नाउ वी कैन राइट अवर इक्वेशन थ्री एम प्लस वन ओवर एम प्लस वन होल पार फाइव प्लस एम प्लस थ्री ओवर एम प्लस वन होल पार फाइव equal to 64 now we can say and we can use substitution let's say this bracket equal to a this bracket equal to b so the very first equation which i can write from here will be a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 64 and second equation we will get from a plus b value so a plus b will be 3m plus 1 plus m plus 3 over m plus 1 which will give us 4m plus 4 over m plus 1 so we will be getting 4 once we will take 4 common from the numerator so we have two equations a power 5 plus b power 5 Equal to sixty four, and second equation is a plus b equal to four. Now we have to solve this new system of equations. Let me write here: a power five plus b power five is sixty four, and a plus b is four. Now I will use binomial expansion: a plus b whole power five. so i can write directly this will be equal to a power 5 plus b power 5 plus 5ab in the bracket a cube plus b cube plus 10a square b square times a plus b now we have two values a power 5 plus b power 5 64 a plus b 4 but here it is a cube plus b cube so we can use again algebraic formula let me put a plus b 4 so in lhs i will write 4 power 5 equal to a power 5 plus b power 5 64 plus 5ab in bracket we can use identity a plus b whole cube minus 3ab times a plus b This is a cube plus b cube plus ten times a square b square times a plus b. A plus b is four, so ten times four is forty. A square b square. Now we have to plug in a plus b here also, and here also. We will write four power five equal to sixty four plus five ab in the bracket four cube sixty four. Minus three times four, twelve ab. Plus forty a square b square. Now equation is looking divisible by four. This bracket is divisible by four. Let's divide both sides by four. So we will get four power four. Sixty four over four is sixteen. Plus five times ab. Now we will divide this bracket by four. so we will get 16 minus 3 ab and 40 over 4 is 10 now i can write 2 4 4 is 256 minus 16 so i can write 240 equal to 5 ab in bracket 16 minus 3 ab Plus ten a square b square. 
or I can write 80AB minus 15A square B square plus 10A square B square or I can write 80AB minus 5A square B square left hand side is 240. This is one quadratic equation. Let me write here 80AB minus 5A square B square left hand side this is 240. Now I can take all the terms to one side but before that we can divide by 5 also. So let's divide both sides by 5. 48 equal to 16AB minus A square B square. Take all the terms to LHS. A square B square minus 16AB plus 48 equal to 0. Now this is quadratic in AB. Either we can use quadratic formula or we can go for factorization method. So I will use factorization method. This is a square b square minus 16 ab. We will split minus 12 ab minus 4 ab plus 48 equal to 0. Now from these two terms ab is looking common. So in the bracket we will get ab minus 12. From these two terms we can take minus 4 common. So in the bracket we will get ab minus 12 equal to 0. So I can take AB minus 12 overall common. So in other bracket we'll get AB minus 4 equal to 0. Now from product 0 rule we can conclude either AB minus 12 will be equal to 0 or AB minus 4 equal to 0. So from first equation we will get AB equal to 12. And from second equation, we will get AB equal to 4. So we have two values of AB, 4 and 12. Now our second equation was A plus B equal to 4. From here, if I will calculate the value of B, then this will be 4 minus A. Let's apply this value here. So I can write A times 4 minus a equal to 4, 12. Let's write here a times 4 minus a equal to 4, comma 12. Or I can write 4a minus a square equal to 4 and 12. Now we will get two quadratic equations from here. So I will write 4a minus a square equal to 4 and 4a minus a square equal to 12. Take all the terms to RHS. We will get a square minus 4a plus 4 equal to 0 and second quadratic would be a square minus 4a plus 12 equal to 0. Now I will solve second quadratic first. Let's check discriminant here. So as per formula b square minus 4ac. So I will write minus 4 a square minus 4 times 1 times 12. So this will come out 16 minus 48. Or we can write minus 32. Once discriminant is negative, we will get complex solutions. So easily we can reject this quadratic equation as we are looking for real solutions. Now the turn of first quadratic equation. This is one formula a minus 2 whole square equal to 0. So from here we can write a will be equal to 2. Now a was our substitution. If I will write here, let us write a equal to 2. Now the value of A was, I will write m plus 3 over m plus 1. But before that, let us calculate B also. So I will write A plus B equal to 4. 
so b will be equal to 4 minus a a is 2 so i will get b equal to 4 minus 2 so 2 both the values we are having 2 now i will write the value of a or b let me write 3m plus 1 over m plus 1 equal to 2 either of the value of a or b we can put here now we will cross multiply so 3m plus 1 equal to 2m plus 2 now we will take 2m to the lhs 1 to the rhs 3m minus 2m equal to 2 minus 1 so m will be equal to 1 now m was 1 over x so i will write 1 over x equal to 1 or x equal to 1 so our final answer is x equal to 1. Let's cross verify. I will write check x equal to 1. Equation is here. We will begin with LHS. So 2x plus 2. So I will write 2 plus 2 whole power 5 as numerator over 1 plus 3 whole power 5 plus 3 plus 1 whole power 5. So this is equal to 4 power 5 over 4 power 5 plus 4 power 5. I can write here 4 power 5 over 2 times 4 power 5. So 4 power 5 and 4 power 5 will be over. We will get 1 over 2 and 1 over 2 is our RHS. Hence, our solution is true and verified. I hope, friends, you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck.